How's it going, sweethearts? My name's Pat. Welcome back to The Wolf Among Us, episode two, episode two. Jesus, no, episode three, episode two. Fuck it, I don't even know. So we gotta look, look through Crane's shit. Hopefully we can find a clue. Uh, I was gonna ra rhyme something with shampoo and I realized how lame that was. All right, let's check here. <laughs> ah, a lot of stuff. The key seems to be the, the best thing to check. So what he, is it? It's for the it's motel. The key to his room at the open arms. Yeah. You still haven't told me what was in there. I don't think you want to know exactly. I know. I need to know. Crane was uh paying Lily to live out a fantasy of him and you together. I can say that much, right? I don't, I don't. Forgive me if I spare you the details. Exactly. I keep thinking back. I keep replaying moments in my head. Interactions with him when he'd catch me in the elevator or bump into me outside. <sighs> There's only so much you can repress, you know? You can have known. What else is there? We'll get Don't him. Don't worry, Snow. We'll get him. So. Come on, let's keep looking. Yeah. Uh, you know, it could not be. It doesn't necessarily have to be Crane. It could be someone. Uh, looking like him, or whatever. Glamour like him, that's what it's called. <laughs> he barely pulled, what the hell? <laughs> Alright, well let's check this little book. The office business... Oh. Oh, I saw Vikings. There's a page here that was torn out. Oh yeah? Witching cloak? Buffkin, do you know what was here? Okay. Sorry, I wanted to it's rewind a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Hmm. Wait, what? What witch? What meeting? Well, he called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. I think he meant his bitch. That is. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. I'm hmm. sure it's about this ring. They must have it. Why not mention this before? Yeah. No one asked me. Buffkin. <sighs> and I'm hungover. I'm sorry. <laughs> he set the meeting at 2 a.m. tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me called to- I called just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? I tried this to, but... This isn't your concern. I don't know why Snow told Fuck you that anything. Guy. He and Crane talk all the time, okay? He was a resource, albeit one that turned out to be useless. We hardly talk and all bold. the time. Besides, why spend time on such gutter snipe? The hell is Look, he jappering about? this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. Which is a pretty good lead. AM or PM? So why? AM. What? Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. Define help. What do you know about I want to know what he knows so he can tell us. That he has the stones to kill prostitutes like any common sex-frightened serial killer and not face a real challenge. Hey, you're the bald one. Look. We know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I need who put you in charge in the first place. Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years. I'm heading up the investigation, okay, Bluebeard? That makes this a moot point. And somebody needs to run the business office while he does so. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. And being bald. <sighs> All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. <laughs> and that he'll be there at two. 
So that gives us how long? A few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. Mm. And a few shorter hours, the more you babble about it. Tell me where yeah, they yeah. are. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? Yeah. It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere the else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. Look, chances are I'll have to swing by both anyway. No, so. chances are you won't have time. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why, why not? not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! Yeah. I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? Why not? I have no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. Bluebeard, you're not going He's anywhere. being a bitch. I'm taking really the boss. Now. And what? You gonna stand here and babysit me? While the rest of your leads evaporate into mist? We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. That sounds fun. Look, Let's do this that. This is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. How did he not hear that? <laughs> he has to be fucking deaf if he Where did Where are you going to go, Bigby? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I'm going to have to make a decision. Okay. I, I think it makes sense since we're two people and uh, we have to fucking make decisions. Oh, Jesus Christ, don't make it hard for me. I oh, got even the time is ticking. Leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy, and I don't need charity. What the fuck? So, here, here's... Okay, I'm gonna... Holly feels like the thing you would pick, because you don't know... You're on drugs or some shit. You don't know what's going on. I don't know why you would pick Holly. Whatever Holly had got cooking up. I'll I, 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 that, 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 that. D. We already interrogated, and it led to nothing. He's just annoying. I think his mouth. I just wanted to like take his face and make a little ball out of it. Maybe squeeze it in a little in, and like rub it in my. I don't know. It's I'm weird. But I think we should just go to Crane's places yeah. right here. I should check that out first. Perfect. And I'll go to those two imbeciles' office. Yeah, because he was Crane's so- Crane's penthouse number is 1903. Let me know what you find. I hope you know what you're doing. Oh god, I don't remember the number. What was it? 19? <sighs> what big eyes you have. <laughs> Where is that from now again? Yeah, it's from the, the big one. The little red riding hood and whatever. Isn't it? Alright, so we're going to Crane's apartment. He's probably not gonna be here, but that doesn't stop me from dancing. Um. Oh god, it was not that room. Oh god. Uh. Why is uh, the door open? He, I bet he's gonna be naked on the bed. Anyone in there? I waited for you, Big B. Crane? Maybe we'll find a murderer or some weird shit. Oh shit, we have a timer. That stresses me out. I don't like that. Does he have a statue of himself? Ah, oh, that dickhole. Damn it. <laughs> Must have missed him. There's uh, gotta be something about his witch here. I don't know why they keep calling him her a witch. Ah, oh, Stefano. How you doing here? Headless horse, man. Why would he have that? Oh, it unlocks an entry. Desk examine, teacher examine, answering machine. That would make sense. 
It does have a blinky blue car. have been his bitch. This hasn't been used in years. And why am I looking through it? Merry Christmas, Mr. Crane. Thanks for all the help this year since the early Jeremy. Oh, God, he used to teach in the old days. <laughs> what a nerd. Uh, okay. What do we got here? I can't click on it. Hmm. Oh, there's a letter. Why didn't I check that? Who has a fucking painting of crooked man? This is <gasps> there it is. I get. I'm afraid Snow will start to notice. I'll have the rest for you next week. Ichabod Crane. Oh. What's going on here? Yeah. Comfort. Yeah. I guess I gotta confiscate it in case it ends up in someone else's. I'm hungry. My dearest Snow, I know you must be aware of my feelings towards you. I'm watching you work. I'm unable to control myself. It's because I love you. Did he really write that? <gasps> oh. Voila. Oh. It might be useful. In my ha <laughs> Same brand we found in the open arms. It's not really a clue, is it? So let's get out. Let's check. Can we go out? No, we can't. Can we check the books? A picture? I've never seen him that excited. Guess things have changed. Man, he's always so fucking grumpy. Math, science, history. I guess. Joy of. That shit didn't work. <laughs> Was that the watch or was it the door? Goddamn swaggy. Um, it's a nice flight. It's not too shabby. I would have mind a few pictures of myself and a statue, maybe like a water slide to the kitchen, so I don't have to move if I'm in the bed. That'd be nice. Okay. Um. Oh, I used to key because I'm smart. Don't need to use my fists. That's right, baby. You heard it. Hello. Don't hey, stay where you are. <gasps> I, uh, Jack. Wow. It is just unbelievable running into you here. Uh, I mean, of all the places. We're going to fight. <laughs> weather, right? Yeah, hey, well. <laughs> a little damp, I guess. But, you know, some people like that sort of thing. Explain yourself. Now. Okay, okay, okay. I know what it looks like. But before you go jump into conclusions, Crane pays me to water his plants when he's gone. <laughs> it's a stipend. But you know I need the work. I wouldn't do it for free, right? You know me. So, anyways, uh, now that I'm done... I don't see any plants. Hey! Really? You actually- Oh shit, that light. Okay! You got me. Just take it easy. Is this really fucking necessary? Stop yeah, you try to fucking Jack. run. Okay, okay. I heard Crane was leaving town. I figured he owed us little people a parting gift. Or just me a parting gift. You heard? I have my sources, okay? How does everyone you keep see finding how he lives? He doesn't need any of this shit. A little Robin Hooding never hurt anyone, right? Do you know where Crane is? Have you heard anything else about him? No. Should I have? What else do you want me to say? I got bills to pay. Not like Crane's gonna use any of this stuff. So don't, you know, hit me again. Did somebody send you and tell? The truth. It's what I know. No, it's just me. Just take it easy. Okay. Fine. 
Oh yeah, I can't. I can't. Oh yeah, I got. I forgot. I just you know, had him once. This tortured, lonely pig eater bit's gonna get old eventually. Don't you get tired of it? I mean, what are you even doing here? What do you think? Are you just wandering around Crane's apartment? I mean, what's the point? I'm investigating. He doesn't have to know sure. what I'm doing. Well, looks like you've got it covered. Anyway, it was really nice catching up with you. I mean that. Are they gonna make out? Bigby, I believe you're uh, oh. blocking the doorway there. If I could just uh, squeeze through. It looked like they were gonna. Big you know, on second thought, it's actually funny I ran into you like this. I think I can help you out. Ah, here we go. I'm listening. Go on. I'm listening. You're looking for Crane, right? Well, I don't know where he is. But what if I told you I know who might know where he is? Word uh, on the street says he's got a witch in the city. Bingo. I can tell you who she is. If you're interested. Information comes at a price, though. But I'm sure you already knew that. No, we're not gonna. Tell me. Let's make ourselves a deal. I tell you about Crane's witch, and you forget you saw me here. One hand washes the other sort of thing. What if we... Wipe the whole incident under the rug. Come on. We're not say? supposed to punch him, so I'm gonna say deal, and Fine. we can give him the money that we stole deal. from Crane. Perfect. Now tell me where I can find this. <laughs> Strong grip. Her name is Auntie Greenleaf. Crane's been trying to keep it under wraps for years. If you're looking for Crane, she might know how to find him. Just want to make sure he doesn't fuck. Why didn't I click? It's so fucking fast. The thing is, I don't know where you'd find her exactly. You gotta be fucking kidding me. But even a name is a good start, right? I mean, that's more than what you came in with. I get damn optimist. Right. I'll keep my eyes open for you. If I find anything else you might be interested in, I'll be sure to let you know. Got it. I think this arrangement can be beneficial to both of us down the line. I don't like this man. <sighs> oh god, he's gonna. It was oh. just lovely running into you, baby. Hang on a second. Yeah. Oh, come on. He could have been there to steal evidence or whatever. I'm just saying. I gotta sneeze. I just want to come out, and it makes me. Yeah, what? I glad. Oh. The white deer. Do you always talk to yourself like that? Yes. No. <laughs> the witch uses the white deer on everything. It's her symbol or trademark, I guess. Oh, that's a good info. Figured I could sell these at the Lucky Pawn. The Lucky Pawn? It's one of the crooked man's places. I work there sometimes. When I need some stability. Get a haircut next time. Jeez. It's a pawn shop. Get it? Yeah, yeah. You find any more of these? Uh, no. Give them to me. What? You know what. Hand them over. <laughs> that it? Pick me? Oh. Are you still here? We're in here, Snow. We? Who else is... He's gone? What's he doing here? Oh. Evening, Miss White? Good evening. What's going on? That's not important yeah, right now. We can but he did have some information about Crane's witch. Oh, what did you find out? Her name is Greenleaf. Auntie Greenleaf. But he doesn't know where we can find her. Great. Crane's meeting her at 2 a.m. And Snow, I found a note with some money attached. Crane has been embezzling from Fabled Town. Of course, because why half-ass being a complete sleazeball? <laughs> Do you think this is tied to the murders? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter yet. We still have to find him. Oh yeah, this I is catching first. I honestly don't care. I just want to get the fucking guy. Crane's meeting Greenleaf at 2 a.m. And we have no idea where she is. We're going to cut it close as it is. We have to figure out where he's meeting her. I'll figure it out. Because I'm handsome as fuck. You should try Holly's. She still has all of Lily's things. If she hasn't burned it already. There's still Tweedledee's place. We know they're involved. And we know that's where Bluebeard went. Where do you want to go? We don't have much time. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, more decisions! I don't know how to make decisions! Okay. Alright, let's just calm down. In the next episode. <laughs> Alright, leave a comment. What do you think? 
We should go next, and I'll listen to you. The majority will speak, and you can't hold it against me. Democracy, motherfuckers. All right, leave a like if you enjoy watching, bros. Uh, hit the sky cover today. I'll see you tomorrow. Love you, bros. Stay awesome.